How are you sitting right now? Did you just shuffle in your seat? When was the last time you took a break from sitting or changed your posture? And do you know the best things to do to help your posture? Well, fear not, I'm here with Caitlin McNicholas, who's a Bupa physiotherapist. And over the next three minutes, we'll give you three hacks for better posture that you can fit into your normal everyday life. Let's go, Caitlin. Hack number one. Your next posture is your best posture. There is no perfect way to sit, but we know through research that moving regularly is really important. The recommendation can be to move every 20 to 30 minutes for 20 to 30 seconds. We often find ourselves in these like hunched over positions. Yeah. So to give ourselves a break out of it, imagine the posture that they talk about when you're posing for a school photo. So you wanna sit nice and tall, take your shoulder blades back, lengthen your neck, unclench your jaw and smile. <laughs> Hack number two. So give yourself some movement snacks throughout the day. So we've already spoke about changing posture, but why not do a few different stretches at the desk or even going out for a walk at lunchtime or to go and make yourself a cup of tea? Walking meetings are good at work Walking as well. meetings would be perfect, yeah. And some of the stretches that you could be doing at your desk could involve taking your neck from side to side looking up and even extended, opening the chest and rotating the middle part of the spine. So looking behind you, really feeling that nice twist on your spine. And some shoulders, some shoulder well. rolls. Yeah. yeah, just to loosen everything up. Hack number three, don't forget your legs. Mm. We sit down for a long time during the day and our body is great at adapting to the positions that we leave it in. So oftentimes people are really tight into their hip flexors and hamstrings. So you can be doing some stretches in standing or sitting, such as going into a bit of a hamstring stretch. So just taking one leg out in front and pushing back until you feel the stretch in the back of the leg. You can do that in your chair as well then. Yeah, just mm -hmm. perch on the edge of your seat and you can do it there. You can do a quad stretch. So it requires a little bit of balance, but taking hold of the foot, pushing your bum forward so you really feel the stretch at the front of the thigh. And then the final one, it's a glute stretch. This is definitely easier sitting down, but we can try it here. Crossing the leg over and sitting down into that so you feel a nice stretch into your bottom and lower back. You wanna hold those for about 30 seconds each and you can repeat it a couple of times on each side. Brilliant, three minutes, three hacks, perfect. Oh.